Jason Duffner is back on the hashtag report, not for his Duffnering antics, but instead for his PGA Championship win. The victory at Oak Hill put his near miss in the same championship two years ago behind him and secured Duffner his first major win. He held off Jim Furyk to claim the title and got the usual flurry of congratulations from his peers. The Alabama native made sure he took good care of the Wanamaker trophy, safely strapping it up before he celebrated. His wife Amanda was seen by his side shortly after the victory, but she reckons she's been replaced by his latest piece of silverware. Inevitably, Duffner's victory at Oak Hill threatened to reinvigorate the Duffnering craze. Pablo Larathabal was one of the first to pay homage before Paula Creamer took time out from her Solheim Cup preparations to post her own tribute to the newest member of the Major Winners Club. Whilst Angel Cabrera's caddy, Jose Luis Campra, did his best impression at Oak Hill's 18th. It wasn't just golfers who were getting in the mood. Baseball star Evan Longoria captured himself Duffnering at Dodger Stadium and the man himself was even roped into it as he did the rounds after his triumph. The end of the major season meant a few players have taken some time off. Both Matteo Manassero and Larathabal made the short trip to New York City. 2003 PGA champion Sean McKeel didn't make the cut this time round, but he consoled himself with a trip to Niagara Falls. Meanwhile, Graham McDowell was photo-bombed by Justin Rose as they took to the skies. Lee Westwood's got some stick from the Twitter trolls after he missed out on another major. This time, the Englishman couldn't bite his tongue as he fired out multiple tweets against the keyboard warriors. Westwood then assured his half a million followers that he hadn't been hacked. However, he was soon apologising, saying it was out of character. Despite his apologies, he still got the backing of Piers Morgan and Ian Poulter. Poulter was at it himself as he took aim at fans who yell irrelevant slogans at players before hopping on his private jet. The 37-year-old reckoned the best course of action would be to taser the people responsible, a suggestion former PGA champion Steve Elkington took exception to. Bolter responded by telling the Aussie exactly what he thought of him. He didn't stop there either, as he pleaded with the PGA to make changes to their rules. We look forward to hearing more from Ian Poulter, man of justice, in the very near future. That's it for this week. As ever, if you've got anything in the golfing social sphere, contact us at hashtag GWReport.